This is the 26th of July of 2019, and this is for the YouTube channel Knowledge for the Glory of God. It's to spread the knowledge of Jesus Christ and to help hurting people. Obviously, you keep what's relevant and discard the rest. And I'll be talking on the subject of are, are we an aroma to God? And I say, yes, we are. I'm going to prove that. Okay, so first off, I want to tell you, before we get started, what diffuse means. I'm sure you know, but we're going to go through it anyhow. Diffuse means to spread, or to cause to spread, over a wide area among a large a large number of people. It means to spread, scatter, disperse, distribute, um, circulate, or broadcast. So we're going to look at 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14 and 16, King James Version. So, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14 to 16. Now thanks be on to God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ, and make us manifest the savor of his knowledge by us in every place. Did you hear that? For we are unto God a sweet savor of Christ, in them that are saved and in them that perish. That is awesome. That is awesome. So to God, we are a sweet savor because we are in Christ. To the ones that are not saved are not a sweet savor. And besides, this is, this is telling us that they smell a sweet savor from us. That's what makes the demon inside of them so angry at us. Okay, we spread a scent, and the scent is of knowledge. Um... Yeah, so we spread a, spread a scent of knowledge of, of God. Okay, thanks be to God for the undescribable love that he has for us. Let's look at Philippians. Chapter 4, verse 18 to 20. Philippians, chapter 4, 18 to 20. Okay, let's go look at Philippians, chapter 4, verse 18 to 20. Philippians 4, 18 to 20. But I have all and abound. I am full, having received of the fatterest, the things which were sent from you, an odor of sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable, well-pleasing to God. But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Now unto God and our Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Okay, let's look at Solomon, chapter 3. I'm sorry, Solomon, chapter 1, verse 3. Solomon. Chapter 3. Ver I keep saying that. Solomon, chapter 1, verse 3. Sorry about that. Because the savor of thy good ointment... Thy name is as ointment poured forth, therefore do the virgins love thee. So his name is fragrance. His name is oil. And beings, we are in the blood of Jesus, and under the blood of Jesus, we are a sweet-smelling fragrance to our Father, to our Creator. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you for doing that for us. Amen. Okay, let's look at Revelations chapter 8, verse 4. Revelation chapter 8, verse 4. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Touch my eyesight, Father. Revelation chapter 8, verse 4. And the smoke of the incense, which came with the prayers of the saints, ascended up before God out of the angels' hands. Hallelujah. So we're a sweet-smelling savor. We're an aroma. We're a fragrance. 
and now we're um, and and now you see that we're uh, we're uh, incense. Praise God! Thank you, Jesus! Thank you, Jesus! Okay, let's go to Ephesians chapter five, verses one to two. Ephesians chapter five, one to two. Ephesians chapter 5, verses 1 to 2. Be ye therefore followers of Christ as dear children, and walk in love as Christ also has loved us and has given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling savor. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. That is so awesome. I, I love having the fragrance of a sweet smell. <laughs> That's better than putting on perfume here. Because the perfume and the, the, the odor, the smell, the incense is better than anything we have on earth. Or when it comes to the Christ. Uh, so as Ezekiel... Verse, uh, chapter 20, verses 40 to 41. So Ezekiel, chapter 20, verse 40 to 41. Let's go look for Ezekiel, chapter 20. Oh, that's further. Okay, I have Ezekiel right in front of me. I didn't even realize it. Ezekiel, chapter 20. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lead, guide, teach. That's what you came to do, and I'm asking you to do that right now. Opening my eyes. Give me spiritual understanding. Give me wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And the people that are listening to me, write this word on the tablet of their heart. Give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding also. And a revelation, knowledge, and an experience that will that they will never be the same again. In Jesus' name. So we're going to look at Ezekiel chapter 20, verse 41, 40 and 41. For in my, uh, for in my holy mountain, in the mountain of the height of Israel, saith the Lord God, there shall be all the house of Israel, all of them in the land serve me. There I will accept them, and there I will require your offerings and the first fruits of your obligations with all your holy things. I will accept you with your sweet savor when I bring you out of the people and gather you out of the countries where you have been scattered, and I will be sanctified in you before the heathen. Yes, he even calls his people. His people are his holy nation. His people are a sacred holy nation. His people um, are a sweet odor, a sweet smell once again to him. And he's going to gather everyone from every corner of the earth. That is awesome. Praise you, Jesus. I will accept you. So verse 31 says, I will accept you as a sweet uh, aroma when I bring you out from the people. So we are a set apart. We are sanctified. We are a separated from the world. We have to live in the world, but we don't have to live like the world. And that's what he wants. Hallelujah. So, does does God know who we are? And does God know who is not his? Yes, we all know that. He's omnipotent, omnipresent, and omniscience. So, those who are not his are a stench in his face. And we're going to look at Isaiah chapter 3, verse 24. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 24. Before, uh, before Jeremiah, we and after Ecclesiastes. Okay. Uh, Song of Solomon. Here's Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 24. Chapter 3, verse 24. Okay. 
And it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink. And instead of a, a girdle, a rent. And instead of a well set hair, baldness. And instead of a stomacher, a girding of sackcloth. And a, a burning instead of beauty. Wow. Well, I don't want to be a stench in God's nose. Okay, let's look at Ecclesiastics, um, chapter 10, verse 1. Look at the Ecclesiastics. Okay. Ecclesiastics, verse 10. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for teaching, leading, and guiding us, Father. Thank you. Dead flies cause the ointment of the epocathri to send forth a stink. That's a, um, a carcass. If I'm not mistaken, that's a carcass. Uh, to send forth a stink savor. So does a little folly him that is in... Reputation for wisdom and honor. Wow. So dead flies uh, putrefy the perfumes. So anything dead putrefies. Blah. <laughs> Blah. You could tell you know that when something's dead. Oh Lord, you know when something's dead, especially when someone's died of cancer. It's a horrible thought. Okay, so this can be said about evil people. They're a stench. Well, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask you to bless everyone in the sound of my voice that uh, that that you will and that you will write your word on the tablets of their heart, that you will give them an experience with you, and that uh, now they understand a little more clearly and help them to understand a little more clearly what they are and who they are, what they represent, and what they smell like to our Creator once we're under, under the blood of Christ. If you do not know Jesus or have not fully surrendered, even if you have given them and you walked away or don't give much thought, the days are getting shorter. We all know that. Here's uh, I ask you to ask God. So here's what you need to do first. You need to say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I believe your son died for me. I uh, thank you, Father, for revealing that to me. I thank you for your precious Holy Spirit you've sent out. Father, I ask for forgiveness of everything that I've done, known and unknown sins. And then whatever sin comes to your mind, whatever thing comes to your mind, repent of that. Just ask for forgiveness. Father, I, I uh, ask you to help me to forgive others. And I ask you to help me to forgive myself for not coming to you sooner and not asking for forgiveness. I ask for your overwhelming love and care to be in my life. And, and uh, that Holy Spirit, sin, Holy Spirit that will guide and protect and, and lead and teach Give me revelation, knowledge, and understanding, and wisdom. Father, I surrender my entire life. Anything that is not in that is not of you, that is in me, that, that I'm doing, or friends that I have, or things that I'm that I have in my life. Father, forgive me of that. Show me all my dark spots, and then then show me and teach me that you are chastising me, and that because you love me, and that you are revealing these things because you love me, and you want me to spend eternity with you. And then you say, and then you start calling out these demons because that's your that's your right, that's your authority you have been given. Once you accept Christ, you have the it says you have the right, like Matthew eighteen eighteen for example. What you bound on earth will be bound in heaven. What you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. So right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, then yes, when you start binding and throwing them into dry places, because they do not like that, you can research that. And you seal that door with Holy Spirit, and you ask Holy Spirit to come live every area. You surrender your tongue, your life, your finances, everything in your life for the glory of God. And Father, I ask you to touch everyone in the sound of my voice. 
that the message sinks down into their hearts, sink down steep into their ears, into their solar plex, into their spirit. Father, that you want a relationship with them. You are desirous, and you are so desirous that you sent Christ, your son, to come. And, and he died for us and to shed his blood. And now we have the DNA of Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, bless these airwaves, that this is uploaded real fast, and whoever and it goes to the person it's supposed to go to. In Jesus' name, thank you.